All right, today I'm gonna to tie a Frenchie, um, size 16. Hannock 480 barbless, 3.8 millimeter copper bead, uh, tungsten. You could do lead-free wraps on this if you wanna uh, even make it heavier. Now, um, this is a very large bead on a smaller hook, but this is gonna be for the spring, May, June, when the rivers are much higher regardless of the snowpack even if it's a low snowpack year high snowpack year you're going to have the highest water always that time of the year and the fish are going to be holding in those deep pools usually near kind of moving water swifter water got to get that fly down deep uh, you could do like i said wraps to make it deeper uh, i'm just using some what is this this is eight dot red uh, just good old uni thread i'm going to take that back to my point with my hook. I just kind of keep that bead out of the way. And instead of using pheasant tail for the tail, I'm actually gonna use CDL uh, here. Um, I just like this a little bit better and I take a good little clump, you know, all said and done. Probably about five, this eh, probably about four to five fibers. And as you can see right there, just, there's probably about, eh, there's probably more than, well, I don't know what that is actually, but as you can see, there's a lot of fibers there and I'm going to wrap that up. You can double up over it. I'm going to clean all that up. I could have done that a little nicer, but I feel like these smaller hooks, don't we all? They just, they get older. They're just harder to, for me at least, to work. But I love the size 16. You can tie these and also um, size 14s here for the local Sierra streams. I'm using this Glow Bright. This is two, this is hot pink. Code number two, if you go to order it. I'm gonna take, I don't know, strand about, I don't know, four inches, three inches. I'm gonna just go up to the front. I'm gonna double that back on itself. It's just easier to get coverage up. Oh, you got any of those loose fibers, just go ahead and get rid of that. Once we come back here, um, I'm gonna come right about where the barb would be, okay? That's where I put my vise, by the way. And I'm gonna come back up. Okay, right here, I'm gonna do a nice little, let's bring this back about halfway. I'm gonna do a nice, keep that CDL pinched up. Loose wrap at first, just to kind of keep that CDL tail in place. And then touching wraps. As you can see, I'm gonna give it a nice little pink hot butt. And I'm gonna wrap this up to about halfway. I did say I was gonna run all the materials back, but I got the thread to compensate. So once I get to about there, I'm gonna go ahead, tie that off with a couple of wraps, come back up. And cut that out of there. Next thing, I'm just using some small gold ultra wire. Uh, get yourself a nice piece to work with, a few inches. You're gonna make a few of these, you know, cut yourself a five inch piece. I'm gonna tuck this right into the bead on top. Now, as you can see, this is still loose, but this is gonna start getting that bead situated where I want it or in place. Right on the top, I'm gonna run that back, right on the top of that hook. And I'm gonna come back with a little bit of that hot pink tail showing right about there. And I'm gonna run that all the way back up to the front. At this point, I just take a little bit of this Loctite super glue. I just do a little bead here on my thread of like, honestly, just a little tiny bead, doesn't take a lot. But then I'm gonna start wrapping this up front. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna start locking that bead into place. Eventually the materials are gonna keep it in place, but I do this, make sure it looks good, situate it there. And um, that's just gonna start helping everything especially that bead uh, just stay in place and also give it more durability. Next thing, uh, we're gonna get some pheasant tail. I'm getting kind of low here, but I'm gonna take a pretty good clump of some of this long stuff. Don't cheat yourself, give yourself stuff to work with. I'm gonna take a bite of about five six fibers just like this. I'm gonna switch those over in my hand, cut off these tails, boom. Tuck that in there on the top. 
loose wrap, pull it back, and wrap that back. This stuff's pretty fragile, so just take your time with it. And I'll come back up to the front. And I'm gonna do a couple of half hitches right here so I can use my cradle. But there's one, that's number two. Get that out of the way. Now I also take that Loctite glue again. I do one little just dab, just a little tiny dab. That right there is probably even too much. But I'm gonna be doing this with my rotary device. And like I said, just really gentle with this stuff. And once we get there, I'm gonna go ahead, get that locked in. One, two, three, four, six. And cut that out of there. Okay, once again, check your bead. Now with my wire, I'm gonna counter wrap that. One, that's just, this is fly much more durability. Once I get right there, I'm gonna do some very nice, really snug wraps right here, guys. Because you could change your direction of your thread, but I'm not a big fan of doing that. You know, plus, I'm gonna have some super glue here in a minute, so I'm not too worried about 